Hello, everyone. As many of you know, my job at SaaS over the past months has been entirely focused on agentic AI, which are AI systems that are able to not just generate results, but to complete tasks and take actions. Now, despite this technology is promising to have a lot of potential across many industries, the real challenge is that it needs to be trusted. So the challenge with agentic AI is not granting it autonomy because that's an easy thing to do, but it is to create it in a way that it's worthy of our trust. Many of us have seen headlines over the past months about the many consequences of agents going wrong for both individuals and enterprises. And also a recent study from MIT actually showed that 95, 95% of pilots are failing. So there is clearly something missing. Today with me, I have David, which is our developer lead for Agentic AI. We want to empower all our customers to build AI agents and integrate LLMs, large language models, at scale with security, trust, and transparency built in. We have worked over the past months to make that as easy and as secure as possible for our customers. And today we are super excited and proud to introduce to you the SaaS Agentic AI Accelerator. Exactly. This accelerator will change how you can integrate AI into your organization. Whether you're a developer, data scientist, AI engineer or business analyst, it provides you with the tools to balance accuracy with governance trust, and most importantly, human in the loop. Let's talk about some of the things it can do. Users can do several things with this. You can bring any large language model you want, whether proprietary or on-prem. It gives you the abilities to version, govern, and monitor your prompts so that you can increase your high accuracy results. You can combine business rules, large language models, traditional machine learning models together into agent systems. And then you can deploy them and monitor them in a way that you can see how they are being used over time. And finally, this helps you to orchestrate multi-agent systems and empower decisions on an enterprise scale. That is amazing. And the Accelerator is available for free for all our VIA customers, and they will be able to access it as an open source project on GitHub in the link available below in this video. But now, David, let's see it a little bit in action. Yeah, we are starting things off inside of SaaS Model Manager, where we as an organization can register any large language model or small language model for that matter that we want. Here we see a list that includes models from Anthropic, Google, OpenAI, and of course also open source models like the Llama family or the models by Microsoft or the Quen models. Really anything your organization requires. Once we have established the models that we want to use, we want to enable business users to be able to prompt with these models. For that, we have an easy to use UI available for them where they can first go in and select the project they are currently working on. For this case, I've just prepared a simple prompt example. And then we get the list of the available large language models that we can work with. We can just select them by checking the box on them. And then we already get the option to tune the models. So, if I'm not experienced yet, I might leave it at the default or I get information what this means. Let's say in my case, I want to compare a GPT model with a Llama model because I can test the same prompt against multiple models and that quickly gives me insight on speed, accuracy, cost to help me build out accurate systems. Then I get into the actual building piece. Here on the left hand side, I can provide the system prompt, specifying how the model should behave, how it should answer, what it's an expert in. And on the right hand side, I can provide it with examples, I can give it the custom inputs that would be added each time it runs, for example, your chat input. And we also have a syntax available, so you can tune this into variables so you can run it against all tables. So in our case, let's say we want to just create a simple testing um, example, where it's like testing the accelerator, and then hello world as our variable input, and we'll run this experiment. Now in our case, we run this against the GPT model and the Llama 3.1405B model, one being proprietary, the other open source. We get back our results and we can see the GPT model was the fastest and used the fewest tokens. That's usually an indicator for lower cost. 
And we can, of course, dig into the specific answers so we can compare them and see which one we like better. So we can see the GPT model was a lot less verbose than the Llama model. I really like that, so I select it as the best response. That adds the crown icon to indicate it quickly for me when I want to pick up in the future. And then I can just hit manifest. This enables me to version the prompt in the backend and makes it available so that other systems can integrate it. Let's quickly talk about which other systems that means. Here we are inside of the repository for the SAS Agentic AI Accelerator that is available on GitHub. We have integrations, of course, for tools like Python and other programming languages that can use APIs. And when we come into SAS Via, we offer integrations across the stack. One of the integration points is SAS Intelligent Decisioning. For that, I brought with me today an example agent that can generate fraud rules to help us improve the accuracy of our fraud detection. The decision that you see here can then be deployed and used as an agent, for example, in a chatbot for our end users. And at the top is where the accelerator helps us to get started more quickly. We have this orchestrator model, which really is a model that's actually a prompt that we can easily integrate into this and make use of all the other um, trustworthy and lifecycle features of SAS via. And then we have the call LLM node, which offers me no code integration with any large language model of my choice. And thus, I can keep building on it, expanding on it, testing it, and everything is versioned for me in the background. Thanks, David, and kudos for this incredible work. I'm so proud of the progress we've made. I love the way, not just how easy it is, but also the security aspect of it, the transparency, the governance that is built in, and most importantly, the ability to include and incorporate human in the loop mechanisms and guardrails, that it is what it really makes the difference with Agentic AI and really enables that trust component that allows you to not just adopt agents, but also integrate them with, uh, you know, with, with trust in your business processes. So I am super excited. And I know that there are a few customers that are already using and exploring the Agentic AI Accelerator across banking, across healthcare, and across uh, supply chain and manufacturing to do things like forecasting demand and shift products between warehouses based on needs, et cetera. So I am super excited. You can access the accelerator today through the link below and start using it already. Now, obviously, this is just version one of the accelerator. We have in queue already many updates that we will be rolling out weekly and make sure to follow us on SaaS communities and the GitHub page to stay up to date with all the features that we will be releasing soon. But obviously, we want to hear from you, okay? How you're liking it, what uh, should we release next? How can we improve the features that we have released so far? So please let us know if you have any questions if you have any comments, if you have any feedback in this video or through the SaaS community page where you can collaborate with other developers, share the work that you're doing with the Accelerator and let us know how you are liking it. So that is it for today. We hope you enjoy it. You start using it and help us to make it better and see you soon. Bye-bye.